guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by so guys in today's video i'll be showing you how to make the beautiful dress that you can see on the thumbnail so if you're interested make sure you watch till the end and don't forget to like comment and subscribe so the dress is for a little girl and i'll be using this fabric to recreate the to recreate the style so i have the fabric i'll be using to cut the front and the back i'll be cutting the front and the back at the same time how to know the amount of fabric to place on fold is your body measurement divided by four so the body me measurement that i'm working with is 21 inches divided by four is five and a quarter so i'll add half an inch of ease allowance so that i'm making it five and three quarter so i will also be add, adding half an inch sewing allowance to that so you can choose to add one inch three quarter of an inch or half inch so i'm adding half an inch to that I'm making it six and a quarter then because the upper part is an a-line dress I'll be adding two inches to this six and a quarter, making it eight and a quarter. So that that is what will be a guide for me to fold fabric and place on fold. Then for the length, the full length of the dress is twenty-two inches, but for the upper part, I'll be needing fifty. I'll be using fifteen inches for the upper part. So I'll be using fifteen inches for the upper part. So here I have fifteen inches plus sewing allowance and then some inches. Okay, so this should be a guide for you to place fabric on fold. Okay, so now that I've shown you all that, let's start placing measurements on the fabric. So the shoulder measurement that I'm working with is four and a half inches. That is nine inches divided by two is four and a half. And then I'll come down by half an inch for the shoulder slope here. I'm working with the neck width of two and a quarter inches. Two and a quarter. So I'll connect the slope from here to this point. So from here, I'll be placing my round armhole measurement divided by two. So my round armhole divided by two is four and a quarter, four and a half, I mean, four and a half. I'll mark it here. And then I'll mark, this should be five inches here. So I'll mark this same four and a half. This four and a half, that is my shoulder measurement. I'll mark it here. So I'll be placing my body measurement on this line and the body measurement I'm working with is five and a quarter, like I said earlier, plus one inch. That is half inch for ease and half inch for sewing allowance, making it six and a quarter. So I'll mark six and a quarter here. So to create the armhole curve, I'll get the midpoint of this four and a half. This four and a half, I'll get the midpoint. which is here I'll mark it here and then I'll come in by half of an inch here and then I'll connect from this beginning line to this point then just create a curve down to this body measurement So normally when I'm working with a sleeveless dress I normally use the same arm hole for both the front and the back but if the dress is going to have a sleeve I'll you just mark the back armhole from here. You will not be coming in by half of an inch. You just curve it and connect to this point as well. So the full length of the upper part is 15 inches, but I'll be adding half an inch to that for attaching it to the lower part. So 15 and a half. So what I have here is six and a quarter. I'll place the same six and a quarter here. Six and a quarter. And then to create the A line, I will extend it by two inches. Two inches and then I'll connect from this point down to this point okay if you have a ruler use a ruler and connect to this line to make it easier so that's it now let's move to the necklines for the front i'll become i'll be using two, i use two and a quarter here so i'll use two and a quarter by two and a quarter so i'll use two and a quarter for the front as well so i'll just curve it and for the back neckline i'll be using one inch Okay, so now I've finished placing the measurement. Now, what I'll do now is to cut this out. I'll cut out the back first, then separate it and cut out the slit for the back, okay? So this is the back piece, and I'll, I'll, I'll measure four inches. I'll slit it. I'll slit it open from here to the four inches. 
So this is it, the front and the back. And now I'll cut a facing for this. So guys, I'll be using the facing to also finish up the armhole. So what I'll do is to extend it like, instead of cutting three inches like we would normally cut for the facing, three inches from the slit, what I will do is, I'll measure from this, I'll measure from this, remember that our armhole was placed on four and a half inches from the, from the shoulder slope. So I'll extend it to six inches because I want the, the facing to stop here. That is one and a half inch from the armhole line, okay? So I'll be using six inches here. So I'll just trace what I have here. And after that, I'll cut it out. I'll also mark this slit here, so I'll know where to slit it up to. Then I'll trace from here. So I'll connect this to this and then cut out. Yeah, here is the facing for the back and I'll set this aside and cut out the facing for the front. So I'll do the same to the front. I'll also measure six inches from here. And then I'll also do the same, add it to the back. I'll mark this out and then cut out. So this is the front facing and I'll set this aside. So guys, here I have everything, the front, the back and their facings. So I'll go to the machine now and I'll go to the machine now and sew the necklines after which I'll top stitch, I'll notch and top stitch. I'll do the same to the back. So for the back, I'll sew the necklines and then sew this. While sewing this little, I will insert this buttonhole. I'll place it this way. And place on the inside in between the front and the back and sew okay when I get here I'll come up here and sew and after that I will turn it out and top stitch this the neckline alone okay so let me quickly do that so guys I finished sewing the necklines and also attached the buttonhole for the back and here is the front and I've also top stitched and ironed so what I'll do next is to join the two shoulders and after joining the two shoulders, I will, I will close off this armhole side, okay? So let me quickly do that and show you what next to do. So guys, I've closed the two armholes for both the left and the right and later on, I'll, I'll, weave, all, I'll weave all these places to make it clean. I'll weave everywhere, but for now, let me just show you how to cut the gathers. So I'll measure what I have here, here, the lower part of the A-line. So I'll measure what I have. To guide me to be a guide for me to cut the fabric for the gathers so this is 17 and this is 17 inches so you can choose to double the 17 inches or you can choose to use three times of, of the 17 inches depending on how full you want the gathers to be it is totally up to you so me i'm using three times of that and and remember that the full length of the dress is 22 inches and already we have 15 inches on the a line so what i have here is eight and a half eight and a half what I need is seven inches out of this eight and a half, but I'll be using one inch to hem it and then half inch to attach the gather to the upper part of the dress. I hope that is clear. So I'll take this to the machine now and I'll first of all iron this before taking it to the machine. I'll iron this properly and then what I'll do is to go and hem it all the way down for both the front and the back. So after hemming it, I will attach, after hemming it, I'll gather it to 17 inches, which is what we have on the dress. And then I will attach it to the dress and show you how it looks, okay? So guys, I finished attaching the gather. This is it. I finished attaching the gather, and also attached the button to it as well. So now what I will do next is to attach bows to this dress. So the dress that we are recreating has three bows, not in the middle, but on this right side here. So the the, the bow on that dress was placed here. One was placed here, second one was placed here, and the third one was placed on the gather. But I will not be placing mine at the right side. If you want to place yours the same way as it is on the thumbnail. You place one here, second one here, and then the third one on the bow. But I'll be placing mine in the middle. So I'll place the first bow here, second here, in the middle of the dress, and the third one will be on the gather. So I'll be cutting these bows in total. So let me quickly show you how to cut the bows. To make the bows, I'll be using this white fabric and also African print. So for the white fabric, I'll be cutting, which the white fabric will be the bigger bow, I'll be cutting four inches. 
four inches of length by three inches. I cut three pieces of that. For the African print, I'll be cutting three inches by two and a half. So I have three pieces of the Ankara fabric as well, and I'll set this aside. So what I'll do next is to cut bands for the bow. So I'll cut three pieces as well, and I'll measure three inches, three inches of length by one and a half inches. So I'll cut three pieces of that. So I'm done cutting the bands. Um, for the bands, what I'll do is take this machine and just sew it here at the edge. I'll just sew it after which I'll turn it out to the three of them. And for the bows, I'll take each of them to the machine and sew on the four sides. On the four sides. I will not be leaving anywhere open. So I'll sew on the four sides. And after that, I'll just make a half an inch opening here and use it to turn it out. I'll do that to all of them and then come and show you how to attach the bow. So guys, I'm done with the dress and this is the finished look of the dress. I finished attaching the bows. You can attach your bows here. One, two, three. Or you can attach one, two, three. Or you can also play around with it. Just scatter it around the... Just use it to design the front of the dress, whichever way you want. So thank you so much guys for watching up until now. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. If you have any question, drop it in the comment section. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.